Happy Pi 2 Day Pi Network Pioneers. Finally, the long-awaited Pi 2 Day is here. And you can see that if you check your mobile application, you can see that the updates have been made. And secondly, if you check Pi Network official X account, eight hours ago, they made a post, Happy Pi 2 Day 2025. Today, Pi has introduced two exciting features to the ecosystem and provided various tech and product updates. Now, very interesting, if you visit mypi.com, you will see a blog post there, okay? A very long blog post, as you can see here, very long page, okay? So I highlighted some key points from this blog post so that you understand the journey ahead. And to be frank, if you take your time and read this blog post, you will start believing in Pi Network because they put in a lot of work for the couple of months. The update is full update, okay? So after reading this post, I found out that we have seven major updates coming up on Pi Network, seven of them, okay? The first one is the Pi App Studio. The second one is um, the ecosystem direct risk taking, which is yet to be updated. The third one is integration of third party on Rampa. The third one is node update for validators. The um, fifth one is mainnet migration and KYC update on blocking over 500,000 additional pioneers. .py domain auction extension, Py 2 day interactive ecosystem challenge okay so it's a very um full update seven updates on pi today 2025 so i will just um brief through the post to make you understand what is going on okay so this is it happy pi today 2025 pioneers today pi releases or released two major features number one an ai application platform that extends to solve problems the world faces as AI advances based on both blockchain and AI technologies as well as expand pioneers access to contribute to, engage with and support by app and utilities in the ecosystem. And the second one is another platform level utility allowing pioneers and businesses to support by app and utilities via staking mechanism. Okay. Now you see that here they try to address this question previous post they made on their X. If I scroll down, you can see this post here about um, answers to um, why Nicholas Kokalis participated in Gen AI you know, panel at Consensus 2025. So they tried to answer that question, you know, in this blog post. You can see how is Gen AI related to Pi Network. So there are a lot of, you know, write up here, but I'll just go straight to the point and talk about the Pi App Studio. So what is Pi App Studio? It's a new model of app creation in the AI era. If you visit your, you know, Pi App and try to, you know, let me just click on these three um, dotted lines here. You can see Pi Utilities. If I tap on it, you can see the Pi App Studio here. I can decide to explore, okay? Let's check it out and see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see here, you can see here, Pi App Studio. You can see chatbots, AI, I can see custom. I can go ahead and assess my app if I have anyone created, or I can go ahead and create if I want to create a new app. So if I tap on create new app, you can see that I can choose, for example, perhaps you are an expert, choose my area and continue. If I choose ads, so I can choose any area here and I continue and do, you know, go through uh, the process and you see how it's being done. I might make another video on App Studio. Okay, so this is a very interesting update. You can build app on Pi Network ecosystem without the knowledge of coding. Okay, <laughs> so the second one is ecosystem directory staking. Okay, so use Pi to support Pi apps and utilities in the ecosystem. So you can access um, this through the Pi browser and it's being rolled out starting on June 28th, okay? So this feature enables pioneers to 
and businesses to stake their Pi on the mainnet blockchain for apps of their choosing, directly boosting that app's ranking within the ecosystem. In addition to the utility of Pi in staking, this also seeks to provide greater exposure to apps that are of higher quality and provide for meaningful community engagement. So very soon on the Pi browser, you'll be able to stake your Pi to kind of um, rank a particular app in the ecosystem. You understand? It's a way of ranking apps in the ecosystem, apps that are doing well by staking your Pi, okay? You're not spending it, you're just staking it for some yield. So I don't know how it's going to be done, but it's being rolled out, okay? Now, the third one is what? Integration of third-party on-ramper and on-ramp services. So on-ramper is simply fiat to crypto gateway aggregator, okay? You must have heard about MoonPay, Transac, even Binance P2P, those are all ramper services. So um, very soon you will be able to kind of exchange your Pi coins on chain, okay? Maybe buy with, you know, um, your credit card or, or buy with a Google Pay or Apple Pay, you know? So there are different ways you can actually buy or sell your Pi coins on chain. That is what they are trying to say about third party on ramper coming very soon you know you can assess it through the pi browser too so we have node updates currently we are currently on node version 0.5.2 this are for validators so if you are for validators you have a new um nodes you just go ahead and update it okay now the, this one is mainnet migration and kyc update so according to this post, they claim that they claim to have unblocked um, over 500,000 additional pioneers based on the update they have on their KYC application. Okay, now dot pi domains auction have been extended to September 30th, 2025. This is in order to provide pioneers with more time to innovate and build functional apps and to bid for their desired dot pi domains for their app because they just introduced the you know pi studio so definitely developers will try to get some dot pi domains for their app okay so that is why they extended it to september 30th 2025 and if you go to your pi app you will see the ecosystem challenge button there if you go ahead and click on it you can see that there are different challenges you can take to win some prizes okay I said to celebrate Pi Today, Pi Today's various ecosystem and utility supporting updates, pioneers can participate in the Pi Today ecosystem challenge. So if you visit your Pi app, you should be able to see that button there, that yellow button. Okay, if you click on it, you will see the challenges and how you can go ahead and explore. This is Explore Pi App Studio. I just explore this one. You can see that I can go ahead and explore this one. After which I will unlock this one. I will keep exploring until I'm done. Okay. So they say the challenge will take pioneers through various new features, including many of those announced in this announcement, and help them explore the Pi ecosystem and Pi product. Pioneers will also receive fun digital prizes after completing certain tiers of this step. Okay. So it ends on july 7th so you need to explore before july 7th i don't know what the prices um looks like although this update did not affect the you know price of pi the price have been stable trading around zero points roughly 50 something cents okay so no major a uh, rally in the price of pi coins but believe me that um these guys they are still building and they are still figuring out a way to actually make Pi coin a utility token. Okay, so they keep building this ecosystem, keep introducing new things from time to time. So for me, it's a nice one. Seven updates in one on Pi today. So I believe that before Christmas, uh, we must have seen a good, great utility of this coin called Pi coin. So that's what's up. That's all they have for Pi today. In another video, I will try to explore the Pi Studio, try to build an app and see how it works, okay?